Hello Virgo and welcome back to another reading. So sorry I didn't get my earth signs out yesterday but I'm getting you guys in today. I'm batch recording. I really want to get your love readings in. All right so no announcements right now and let's get into your reading. Okay Virgo? All right. So this reading will work for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. If you feel as though this does not resonate with you in love, check your Venus sign. That may resonate more with you if you look at those videos instead, okay? All right. I am still available for bookings on Fiverr, so feel free to check that out down below in the description box. You can still email me. I do like to hear your messages. I recently got a really nice email from someone about one of my readings, so feel free to hit me up for a chat, okay? If you need clarity, um, you can also book me through email. Some people still do that. They don't use Fiverr, but uh, you can see all my reviews over on Fiverr if you're curious about my readings okay i've got a lot of satisfied customers uh, thank you if you have booked a reading with me thank you so much i appreciate you and welcome back if you are an old sub and if you're new feel free to hit that little button down below and i'm gonna sound like a youtuber right now just so you can hear that okay virgo click the button no i'm just kidding <laughs> don't do that don't click the button you don't want to do that um, no, you do. You do want to click that button. Wait, I don't know. Who am I? Ah, okay. What's up with that? All right. What is going on <laughs> with Virgo in love? What is going on with Virgo in love today? What is going on? Maybe you guys are a bit lighthearted. I'm feeling that. My uh, last reading was a little bit tough. What is going on with Virgo in love? What is going on with Virgo in love today? Okay. Ooh, King of Cups, Page of Swords. Oh, interesting. Maybe you're communicating with someone right now. Sun in reverse. Hmm. Oh, man, I shuffled so hardcore, but I got Sun in reverse in my last reading. Okay. What the heck is going on? Okay, so... We've got a, sorry, that's a Knight of Cups. I'm still getting used to this deck. Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups here, Page of Swords, and the Sun in Reverse. So I feel that you are currently communicating with someone, a possible water sign. Um, maybe this is your energy. Yes, I feel that this is your energy, Knight of Cups. You're, you're heading towards someone. You, you want to communicate with someone here with the Page of Swords. Okay, you want to talk, you want to present them a truth, okay, but sun in reverse energy, okay, I feel as though something about the communication is either being, it's either immature, okay, um, often my, my sun in reverse card speaks of immaturity, um, ego issues, okay, um, you could be dealing with somebody that does not know how to talk about their emotions. I'm hearing this. Um, but with the Knight of Cups, you are presenting an open line of communication between both of you. But I feel that there's some kind of blockage here with the sun in reverse. Okay, maybe they're not being 100% upfront with you, honest about something, or maybe you aren't. Let's go ahead and get into our breakdown, all right? Tell me about this Knight of Cups. You want to offer love. This is a very optimistic feeling that I have here. It is. You could be dealing with an air sign or someone with air in their chart. Okay, let's see. Yes, temperance. Okay, interesting. Tell me more. Six of Pentacles. Focus. Focused communication, I'm hearing. Ooh, interesting. Now we've got the Knight of Cups in reverse within this energy. Okay, so what I think is happening here is that you're having, like I said, you're having to be pretty patient with this person that you're communicating with because I think that uh, one of you is holding back the actual emotion that needs to be expressed in this current predicament. Here with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like not only are you focused deeply on communicating with this person about yourself, but I feel as though you're holding back 
the amount of emotion that you have for them because we have this page of swords maybe they don't know how to take it they don't know how to take your intensity okay virgo so you're just kind of like well you know um yeah this is me over here being patient and allowing things to take you're kind of letting it take a, a very interesting course i think by talking a lot about yourself you're talking about yourself like I do this, I do that, you know, this is how I, you know, approach things, um, this is how I feel, okay, but you're not doing it at full intensity. This is what I'm hearing. You're, you, you feel like you have to hold back with this person, and I feel that maybe that's because they may be younger than you, maybe they're inexperienced. Ten of Wands in reverse, okay, we're pulling more deeper here about your Page of Swords. Ten of Cups. Oh boy. Okay, I think I see what's happening here. One more card, please, before I give more clarity. <laughs> Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, okay, so I see why you're holding back, okay, Virgo? You have not only been self-focused on yourself and you're expressing yourself in that way with a night energy. I feel as though this person okay they may want a forever okay they may want a forever with you with this ten of cups but um they are holding that back okay both of you are holding this back <laughs> and i think that you may know that this person is holding back just how much they actually feel for you passionately they're not they're okay this is like a game in a sense in a, a game of communication like they want to release this though. They want to let go of the way that they're hiding them through. There's like a mask. They're hiding how they feel. Maybe they're, I don't want to say they're pretending to be naive, but they're, they are. They're, I get the feeling this person's hot headed. Mm hmm. I want to dive deeper into this uh, this Ten of Cups situation. Um, to th the fullest extent of what this relationship could possibly be is not, it's not happening. They're not really, someone may be playing around. Okay, tell me about this sun energy. Oop, we got to pop out. Okay, here we are. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, slow energy. Okay. What is up? There could be a third person here. Mm-hmm. Two of Swords. There's a third person. Yep. There is a third person here. Five of Swords. I got that in my last reading as well. All right. So uh, Capricorn. So you're holding back your feelings, right? And the more you hold back these feelings, it's like um, this person holds back as well. Okay. They are holding back. And the reason why they are holding back is because I feel there is a third party or an option. There's a third party in in their life there's somebody in their life that is keeping them from moving in the direction that they want to go in a faster way they're not making a choice for it because i feel this person well um what's the saying i want my cake and uh, let's eat it too okay this person wants more this person wants more i feel there is a bit of a disconnect because they're not wholly honest with you about the fact that they want happiness with you or they at least want happiness in their life the ultimate love situation like i said somebody here is wearing a mask and they're not revealing exactly how they feel about you because there's somebody either on the side or there's somebody that they uh they need to leave okay or they're not making a choice maybe this person likes <laughs> Maybe this person you're dealing with likes to explore the field. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. It's very immature energy. All right. Let's go deeper. Tell me about the, uh, tell me about temperance here. Tell me about temperance. I want to know about this. Like I said, you're holding back. Oh my gosh. Temperance in reverse. What the heck? There's some real games going on here. All right. Let's get some more. Empress. Empress energy. 
Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not willing to take uh, table scraps, okay? You're trying to remain patient with this person. We got Queen of Swords here on the bottom of the deck, okay? I feel you're trying to remain patient with this person and you're giving them the benefit of the doubt because I feel you are more mature here with this Empress energy. Okay, you just, I think you know that this person maybe is a player, maybe they're not, you know, they're not giving you what it is that you crave, okay, and so you are holding back the full intent of what it is that you want. Um, you may be losing your patience with this person currently, and you're kind of just thinking to yourself, maybe I can find something better that I can work on, okay? I feel you're really within yourself, all right, Virgo, and so because of that, it's kind of like, hmm. I feel a bit of ambivalence. Yeah. Yeah. I think this person has expressed to you in the past that they, they want a Ten of Cups situation. We're like, ah, you're my happiness. You're my rainbow. I really love you. Okay. But then they pull it back. They pull it back and then it's slow. It's slow. Um, could be dealing with an earth sign, by the way, that I'm hearing that they, they have on the side. Okay, or somebody that they might be looking at or they're interested in. Okay, another earth sign here. Um, again, sun in reverse. What the heck? This is pulling on your page here, by the way. I'm pulling clarity more on your page. Tell me more about this. There is not happiness in this situation right now. Knight of swords. Okay, too many knights on the board. Not enough committed energy. Okay, too many knights on the board. Just just the start of something, the start of something. Seven of swords. Sneaky. Sneaky sneak. What the heck? Okay? Like I said, I really feel as though this person is immature. They are trying to play the field. They're trying to play you and you know it and you don't care, okay? And this person is, you know, I feel like they come at you in a very immature manner with the sun in reverse and the knight of swords. Like they come at you like, "Oh no, baby, come on." Like, you know I love you. Like that's <laughs> that's what I'm hearing, right? And you're just kind of like, "Don't play games." I know what you're doing, okay? This is a game player. Whatever you're dealing with, you're playing with a game player. And I'm really sorry, okay? Like, th this person, like, and the sad thing about it is that there could be happiness in this situation, but you, you're really dealing with someone who is very unenlightened about themselves. It's like, get it together, okay? What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, let's look at this future sun. You got sun in reverse twice, which tells me illumination and truth is definitely needed right now for your person to start being honest with themselves of who they are and what it is they're doing to stop effing around. Okay, tower in reverse. Stop effing around, okay? <laughs> tower in reverse. Avoiding the disaster of ruining this person's pretty little paradise. What do we have here? Chariot energy. Okay, we've got the chariot. Moving as fast as, as fast as they can away from a possible disaster. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have the nine of wands in reverse. Okay, so I feel for you right now, um, Virgo, it's kind of like... I don't want to say a done deal, but I feel you're coming to the end of the line here with this person, and that's why you're holding back your emotion. You may even stop communicating with them in a way that gives them a fuel to their fire, and you're going to just focus on yourself with this empress energy, because, like, what's the point when you're dealing with someone this immature? Like, what are you going to do, right? What can you do? What can you do? They got to grow up. They got to get a spanking for mommy, whatever, okay? And then here with the nine of wands, it's like... Like, do I keep fighting? I think you're getting tired of fighting this. You want you want something that matches your energy and a real Ten of Cups situation. Or you just really care about yourself right now. You know, you got Empress mode. Like, I just, I, I'm doing me. I'm doing me. You know, I guess maybe you entertained this person more than once. I'm thinking that here. You entertained them. Literally entertained them because they're like a kid. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like you plopped them down in front of the TV and said, hey, like watch cartoons. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and... <laughs>
<laughs> See what Moonology deck has here? I just feel like you're fed up. I'm fed up with this person. I don't even know them. Shit. Okay. Let's see what Moonology has to say here. What do we got? The answers you need are coming. Full Moon and Gemini. Hmm. That's interesting. I think this has to do with the possibility of uh, this person, like, not making a choice here. We have with the Two of Swords. Maybe they have... Oh, this is what I'm hearing. Okay, I'm so sorry, Virgo. I feel like your person had, uh, like, told you, yeah, you know, one minute. I'll get to it. That's what I'm hearing. Like, I'll get to it. Yeah, I'll make a choice. Uh, I'll do what I'll do what I have to do. I'll do what I have to do. I'll get to it soon. But here they are, Five of Swords. Like, I'd rather cause chaos instead. Okay. This is what I'm hearing. So, you know, that answer's coming. <laughs> uh, that is coming. Okay. What do we have here? A time to give rather than take. Okay, so maybe you gave a lot to this person. Maybe they took from you a lot of your energy and your time, and now you're just done. Okay, so it's time to give back to yourself. All right, one more card for Moonology, and then we're going to pull for my love deck here that I have. Hold your vision. I don't mean, this doesn't mean stare them down. I'm not saying stare them down and be like, get out of my face. No, not, you don't want to do that. Um, hold your vision is literally like, Steer the course here with the chariot as well, okay, towards ending this fight. Okay, you are more balanced than this person is. They have some growing they need to do, source is saying. Like, um, yes, you may have love for them, but you don't want to have to go, you don't want this. You don't want an imbalanced situation um, to continue happening in your life uh, with someone who needs to grow a lot more. Okay, Virgo? Did I call you guys Capricorn? I felt like I did. I'm sorry if I did. All right, so I'm gonna pull from these beautiful, lovely heart cards here, okay? They're really hard to shuffle, but I'm gonna try again. Okay, tell me what advice you have for love. What love message do you have for beautiful Virgo? Virgity Virgs, as uh, one of my favorite tarot readers says all the time. I don't know if you've seen her. Her name is Val. Great personality. Okay, um, one more. Okay, I pulled this one for you. Looks like this on the front. Isn't that pretty? Okay, it says, wait. I think I got this in my last one. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. <laughs> Yeah, nature's got to give your boo a spanking because I feel that that's what's that's what's called for right now. Mm -hmm. All right, one more. We got our angel cards. Let's see what piece of advice the angels have for you. And that's it for you today, Virgo. Thank you for being patient for those who may have waited for their Virgo reading from me this week. I know a few of you that may have. Okay, all right. More? Prayer. Yeah, they better pray. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no matter how difficult the situation may seem, all is possible. Ask. We are listening. So, you know, with the Tempest card here, I often feel as though when I get this in my readings, there is either a guide around you or some kind of guidance that is happening from the universe that you trust in, okay, to move you through the situation in a safe manner. So I feel if you need to meditate or get back in touch with those guides to, to just kind of remember your self-confidence in this situation. Like, I feel you're fine here with the Empress, and you were just maybe playing with someone, like, literally, they were trying to play with you, but you, it was more like you played with them in a sense, like, yeah, whatever. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, Virgo. This was your love reading for today, and I hope to see you guys soon. Feel free to subscribe below, and love all of you. Bye!